when I am happy with the import as I am now, um, what I do is to prepare the model for the materials. Let me just go to the image and uncheck this one to uh, make it fill the entire frame. Like so. Cool. Jump back to the scene. Um, first of all, I want to rotate these. think that it feels a bit more natural when I'm doing the materials. Um, and then what I do first is to group the materials that are going to have the same materials. Oftentimes this has already been done in the uh, CAD software you're using, but sometimes you get a model where nothing is done and maybe you also find that it's quicker to do in Keyshot, which I do sometimes. Um, and I just want to show you some a few short code and cuts and tricks that you can use to make it quite efficient. So I want to have this uh, this glass material for itself. Uh, right now you can see that if I'm going to uh, change anything that all uh, the parts are linked here on the, the model. So what I do is to uh, select a part I want to have a specific material on, right click and say on link material. Then I go ahead and give it a uh, just a random color and i have three other parts i want to have the same material on and a quick way to uh, copy it around is to uh, hold down shift left click and then hold down shift and right click on the part you want to copy to so that was uh, you know left click shift left click to uh, load the material and then shift right click to uh, paste the material again. So shift right click to paste. Then I'm going to select the part here. I'm going again to unlink the material, give it a random color and, and shift left click and shift right click to copy the material. Do the same for this part, unlink the material, give it a random color and copy it to the parts where I want uh, to link the materials, uh, the parts that I know are going to have the same material. So that was shift le left click on the material I want to copy and shift right click. So let's do that for the, the rest of the model now. Um, unlink this one. Give it a random color. Paste it over here. And I think that, oh, these are going to have another material as well. And I want to have the same material here on this part and this part, and also the one in here. This part I want to have like some kind of rubber, rubbery feeling to it compared to some of the other harder plastic parts that we have here and here and here. And I want to unlink this as well. Uh, pick a light blue one. I think what we have left now is the uh, screws uh, and I want them all to be linked so I can just give it a, a color that is not black to tell myself that I have taken care of those. Whoops. Uh, okay, I'm sure they were, they, they were linked, still linked to these parts up here so I am going to unlink those. Sometimes it's uh, it's weird how tough it is to find a, a random color that has not been used before. So shift left click and copy it to these parts here. I ah, want to change the color. Like we don't have like a pink pink. Nice. So that's it. Now we are ready to uh, dig into the actual material creation.
Oh, one thing more I want to do before going into the materials are to change the environment to something with uh, a bit more contrast than uh, than we have in the startup HDR right now. I think I will go with uh, two panels 2K as a beginning. Maybe bump up the brightness just a bit, like so. Uh, because when we're adjusting the materials, it's way easier to uh, see bump mapping and um, the difference in roughness and stuff like that when we have like a sharp edge between a, a bright spot and a dark spot in the uh, environment and reflections. And go with something like this and then I'll change the background color or two colors so we don't see the, the lighting environment and get disturbed by that. Change that to color and I'm going to uh, use a neutral gray at 127, 127 in all three, um, which is like the middle gray. So uh, we won't get biased in any way by this uh, background color. So now we are ready to uh, adjust the materials. Actually, there's just one more thing. I also go to uh, the lighting tab here in the project tab, project window tab, and change the lighting preset to product um, because it, it helps to add in some global illumination. And uh, I know I, I want to use this for my final rendering. So having it from the beginning while adjusting the materials, I know that this is what they're going to look when I I use this uh, lighting preset. Okay, so now, now we are ready for the materials. <laughs> 